Hi, this is Dr. Salt with Just Be Well. I want to talk about hormone health and how just about everybody outside of the functional medicine community just has it wrong. So, you know, you always hear about, oh, I need, hor I need bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. So you hear that in the holistic camp and in the uh, conventional camp, you hear, oh my God, hormones are terrible. They're going to kill you by Thursday. Well, they're both wrong. Hormones are complex. It's not just about the hormone. It's about the receptor also. And I'm going to tell you that if you properly um, balance hormone receptors, hormone-related symptoms almost always go away. Not always. Nothing's always. But almost always. So what do I mean by this? Well, I think you've probably heard of insulin resistance, right? Insulin resistance is... Uh, the idea that your muscles become resistant to your insulin, so you need higher and higher doses of insulin in your body to, uh, to make things work properly. The problem is insulin is a storage hormone, and so it causes you to store visceral fat. So people who have insulin resistance have beer bellies. It's really um, the, the person with insulin resistance kind of has carbohydrate toxicity in a way and they don't process carbohydrates well, and that's very fixable. But the same idea happens with every hormone. So if you're having a lot of hot flashes and night sweats, and somebody told you you don't have enough estrogen, somebody else told you you don't have enough progesterone, you know what? Look at the lab result. They probably did a lab, and I'm gonna bet you that most of the time, well, I know most of the time, your labs are completely normal. <laughs> and yet they go, oh, no, eh, well, you know, some magical waving the arms and uh, you need hormones. Here's the truth. Most of the time you don't need hormones. Most of the time you need uh, things that are going to help you balance and re-energize your hormone receptors. What does that mean? Well, fats that are stiff at room temperature make your cell membranes stiff. And you want fluid cell membrane so that the receptor can float around on the cell membrane and do its job. So you need an oil change. Most of the time you need an oil change. And what does that mean? It means more fish oil, more flax oil, more oils that are um, um, liquid at room temperature. If you're, if almost all Americans are significant omega-3 fatty acid deficient, and if you eat more omega-3 fatty acids, uh, you will uh, you will be doing better. In fact, what you want to want to do is you want to do a test called an omega-3 index. Most you know most of the big labs will do that, and you can ask your doctor for it. He may or may not be willing to do it, but uh, because it's a holistic health test, not a you know, not a disease management test. But what it is measuring is the percent of omega-3 fatty acids in your red, red blood cell membranes. And you want that to be around 10%. And right now, yours is probably 4%, unless you, unless you eat fish three times, two or three times a week and take fish oil pills, uh, it's about 4%. You want it up around 10%. Once it's up around 10%, once you're eating a, what I call the real diet, so a real diet is a diet that is uh, eating things that have been alive recently. And I'm not talking about animals necessarily, anything. So plant matter that's been alive recently. Uh, and then things that somebody from the pre-industrial age would recognize as food. So if you're doing those two things and you're getting your omega-3 index up above 10, you know, at or above 10, um, probably a lot of your hormone-related uh, problems are going to go away. Uh, so what is it going to take to get your uh, omega-3 index uh, up around 10? Well, um, you want to buy fish oil, for starters, and you want to take enough of it so you're getting 3,000 milligrams of the EPA plus the DHA. So, you know, your bottle will say, on the front, it'll say something like fish oil 1,000 milligrams. Don't care. Turn it around, and on the back, it'll say a serving size is one or two pills or whatever it says. And then in that serving, there is X number of EPA and X number of, well, there's mosquitoes out here, and X number of uh, 
DHA. Add up the numbers. So, you, you know, let's say it's 300 of EPA and 200 of DHA in one pill. Well, that's 500. So that means you're going to need six pills in order to get to that 3,000 milligrams of EPA plus DHA. If you're doing that, plus you're using healthier oils like olive oil and flax oil and pumpkin oil and uh, avocado oil, um, you're going to do an oil change on your body. And when you do that oil change, your receptors are going to work better and your hormones are going to work better. So think about that. And... Um, Let's talk more about hormone health later on when the mosquitoes aren't eating me alive. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye.